the biggest prize we have ever given away at a temptation. $25,000! Train alone with your trainer at home. Total control in this game. The one and only vote at this week's elimination. If you want to stay in this competition, you have to be 100% committed. Because if you don't believe, you should go home. What? Now it is time to prove how important this experience is to you. This is officially your first temptation on The Biggest Loser. I'm looking for the donuts. I'm looking for the bucket of fried chicken. Because if there's a bucket of fried chicken on the road, I'll forget that I had a blister on my foot and I'll run for it. <laughs> I'm ready to offer you here and now a piece of the $250,000 grand prize. All you have to do is take a step across that line and leave this game for good. If you cross that line, you are speaking on behalf of your teammate. You are both out of this game for good. The first person who crosses that line gets $5,000. Oh. Allison came with temptation. And real temptation. That little 59 cent chicken wing. Back away. Get back. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Back up. I see a lot of people making it very clear that this is not what they want. I, what? I know exactly what I'd do if I take the $5,000. I spent four thousand on fried chicken and a thousand dollars on my cable, so I can watch the show. That's totally not worth it. This is key. This is changing our lives. What if I upped the ante? What if I made it ten thousand dollars? Woo! Oh my! I'm living at home with my mother. I'm a grown woman who's being supported by my mother, and there's a lot of shame with that. You can get a house in Michigan for $5,000. So I could have moved out of my mother's home. How important is it for you to be here? Cash can't buy your life back. Nope. Cannot. All right, Damien. But as you know, things on The Biggest Loser are never easy. Oh, no. No, so what's next? What's next? So my final offer is $25,000. <laughs> $25,000! That's more than I made in a couple of years. Looking down the line, you know, Joelle had a look on her face like, maybe I'm going to go, that's getting up there. You could tell she was kind of thinking about it. <sighs> Shut up. All I have to do is step over this simple white line, less than four inches, right there. $25,000 right there. 10% of the grand prize. You want it, Joel? Cross the line. When we were standing at the line, Joel kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. That's a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And if you're going to let money get in the way of having a great experience here on the ranch, then cross that line. If you want to win money, go on a game show. None of us are here to play with their lives, and if any of us are, go home now. Mm -hmm. Take the money and go. There's no way. No way. So Dan said it best. If you're in this for the money, here it is. 25 grand. Cross that line right now. Five, four, three, two. One. Congratulations on surviving your first temptation. I had the thought many times I could take that money and do many things with it, but it's not the final answer. And so for that sake, I stayed on the other side of the line. Good job, Woo! everyone. Good job, everyone. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Joelle. She was obviously tempted by the money. She seems dedicated, but only to a point. I will see you all soon. Now get out of here. Hit the gym. Thank you. You can eat as much or as little food as you want. But understand this. Your partner was given this exact same opportunity. They have already played this game. You will not know what they chose to do until the end. It is the team with the highest number of calories that wins today's temptation. 
but the winning team will get to train alone with your trainer at home. Did she just say you get to go home? I get to get out of here for a couple of days. I get to have some peace and some zen. Let me tell you, it will be certainly a miracle from heaven. <laughs> the game is on. There will be a winner. Not all of them resisted temptation. One at a time, we'll have you come back into this room. For right now, you can go ahead, step outside. I have a meat tooth, not a sweet tooth. But if you stare at it long enough, you know, something talks to you. It was tough because my mind is racing a mile a minute thinking, what is the right decision? What am I going to do? Did Aubrey eat anything? I really miss my boys. I've never been apart from them for more than a week. So I'm thinking 500 different things at once. If I just eat this slice of pizza, is that going to be enough so I can go home and give my boys a hug and, you know, tell them that I miss them? And... Not having your kids next to you for this long and then going through such an emotional, draining, everyday routine of working out. And I wanted to eat a slice of pizza for my boys. Taco, 200 calories. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, pain. Oh, shoot. I'm on a thread. I'm on a thread here. I'm already on a thin line with everyone. If I eat this food, that's going to put me even further behind. Making the wrong choice might put me home permanently. God, it smells so good. It smells good. I'm thinking it would be so easy just to have the pizza, you know, I could, I could down four, you know, at 500 calories per piece, you know, that might get me home. To see my kids, that's all I gotta do. As I told you when we started this, there is one team that will win today. Now it is time to find out who that is. We're gonna start with you, Mandy. You walked into this room, you ate one slice of pizza, which is 380 calories. Let's find out what Aubrey did. Hi, Mandy. Um, so, guess who showed up today with a bunch of food trying to make me eat? So, I've been craving tacos. <laughs> but then I remembered why we played the game, so I ate nothing. Seeing Aubrey on the TV hold up an empty plate, I'm like, crud, maybe I shouldn't have ate that slice of pizza. So, I hope that you ate nothing too, because the whole point in here is like to lose weight and not eating anything that's not good for us. Okay, we're gonna go up next. The blue team, Felipe. Yay. Hey. You came in here and ate nothing. Yes, ma'am. Well, since you didn't eat anything, right now, yellow team is in the lead, all right? All right. Let's see what Sione did. All right, Felipe, I got uh, two pieces of pizza, a taco. Oh, my God. I chose it because I need that workout with you and Bob to come back and kick my butt one more time, so. It's the only reason I did that. Hope you make the same decision so we can win this. All right, don't disappoint me. My <laughs> God! Oh, my! After I saw Siona eat, I was kind of shocked. I was like, man, I guess he kind of depended on me upon eating something. I picked two pieces of pizza and a taco for 960 calories. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh! I knew that Felipe would be the one to go home to see his partner, which was fine. You know, I just had to come to grips with it. Well, blue has taken the lead from yellow because Sione ate 960 calories. Kristen, you decided not to eat anything. Oh. So let's find out if Kathy beats Sione. 
Hey, Kristen, I came to my house with my first temptation challenge, and I'm proud to say my plate is empty. I didn't eat anything. Miss you, love you. It was good to see her, though. <laughs> Up next, Damien, you came in the room, and did you eat anything? No, I did not. And do you think Nicole felt the same way at home? I don't think Nicole ate anything. Let's find out. Hi, Damien. Woo! It's me. We are doing our first temptation. They brought in a whole bunch of food, and this is how much I ate. Woo! And then I'm counting the days of when I see you again. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Up next, Helen. You decided to eat nothing. How do you think Shannon did? Let's find out. Hey, Mom. Today we had a food temptation challenge, and <laughs> but I didn't eat anything because we can do it. It's only thirty days. So I'll see you in thirty days. All right. When she held up the empty plate, I was like, "That's my girl. Good going, Shannon." Up next. Tara. Ultimately, I decided not to eat anything just because I want to be here. I just hope Laura did the same. And if she didn't do the same, I was going to kick her ass. I would love for you both to come hang out with me in Miami, but don't worry about it because I didn't eat anything. <laughs> and you're going to be so proud of me. And I know you're not going to eat anything either. I know you so well. Bye. OK, black team, brown team has zero calories. Neither ate anything. So as it stands now, blue team is in the lead at 960 calories. Next, we're going to hear from the silver team. Joelle, you were tempted, but you chose not to eat in the end. Yeah. Well, Carla would have a large task ahead of her, because as it stands, Sione ate 960 calories for the blue team. Let's find out. Joelle, how are you? I have in front of me three <laughs> slices of pizza, five Woo! chicken nuggets, one taco, and two cupcakes. I was shocked. We were all shocked. I looked around, everybody's like, mm -hmm. I know my girl. Mm -hmm. Haven't had pizza in a long time. Look at the cupcake. Carla ate, and Carla ate well. Mm. Oh, oh, this is so mean. <laughs> I get to go. Yeah. Don't get mad. I need to see you. Yes. So I'm doing this for us. I'm doing this for us. The thing about Joelle is, you know, Joelle is 41, but emotionally she's about 12 or 13. <laughs> you know, just to see Joelle's excitement and ultimately knowing I wasn't going to go see my boys and Joelle kind of looking at me like, ha, huh? you know, I'm going home, yay. You know, everyone else kind of had some consideration for me. This is the last bite. Wow. I think Mandy was upset at the fact that, you know, Joelle was celebrating in front of her, and I felt bad for her. The silver team consumed 2,710 calories. Mm -hmm. I'm not smiling because I'm happy of, about her consuming. Each person has a certain strength. Carla does have a strength where she can do something such as that, and then she can go back and, and get it in line. And what's more important for us right now is to rekindle. There's no rekindling doesn't burn calories. All it does is just warms your heart that you can see your partner. But the fact of the matter is, I think out of all of us, the person that should have got home should have been Mandy. Because unless you have kids, unless you know that relationship, she's the one that deserved to go home. I, I did feel like I was the one that deserved to go home. So yeah, I mean, I felt kind of bitter about it. Um, I definitely think that, you know, I do give 120% every day. and. I was just hoping that I would get it. Everyone had a choice to make, and we did. I definitely feel like an outsider. I don't know if I am, if I've done this, 
I've tried to be engaging. I've tried to be engaging. Silver team, you have won today's temptation, which means that you and Bob will be traveling to Detroit to visit with Carla, and you will have the opportunity to work out one-on-one -on -one with him. We'll see if it is an advantage or a disadvantage in the weeks that come. Those of you who train with Bob will be without him for a couple of days. You guys have a great week, and I will definitely see you soon. You haven't faced many temptations this season, but today's temptation is going to more than make up for that. Behind you, you are looking at 100 trays. Most of the trays is a high calorie snack. When you choose a tray, you have to uncover it, and you have to eat what's underneath. Underneath one tray, there is a golden ticket. And that golden ticket will give you the ultimate reward. Total control in this game. With Felipe and I and Helen voting the way we did, voting for Ron, and Ron staying in the house, I don't want that power to fall in anybody else's hands but mine. The person who finds it will hold all the power this week. The one and only vote at this week's elimination. I want that golden ticket so badly. Knowing that either Tara or I could win, we kind of looked at each other and were like, OK, one of us has to get this thing. Something better than immunity is control of the game. To have the only vote, it's a lot of power. On my go, go out there, find yourself a tray. You uncover it. You have to eat what's underneath it before you can move on and pick your next tray. Remember, everyone, whether you choose to continue to eat or not is entirely up to you. You all understand? Go! I didn't know if everybody would decide not to play. Everybody kind of just hesitated for one split second, and then, boom, everybody was off for the trays. It was kind of like if one went, everybody had to go. You didn't want to be the odd man out. I could have cared less about the food. I even didn't even care about the money. I wanted that power. All I was thinking is, I need that. And I was going to do anything I had to do to get it. There isn't enough food in this room to stop me from getting this one vote. Laura, the first one to pick something. She finds a 100-calorie soda. Tara found a cupcake that is 520 calories. 520 calories? 520 calories in that <laughs> cupcake. Kristen's got a pretzel for 366 calories. Oh, is that the golden ticket? <laughs> Do you have the golden ticket? A donut. That donut for Felipe is 270 calories. Helen's got a cupcake that's 520. And we've got Mike chewing on 150 calories of chips. That feels hard to eat. Laura's finishing up her soda. Fiona, what do you got? A donut. A donut. 270 calories. A soda, 100 calories. Kristen, do you have the ultimate power in this game? Oh. A cupcake, 520 calories. Sione, what do you got? Bag of chips for Sione, 150 calories. Oh my god, another. $5,000! Wow. $5,000, <laughs> $5, you know, that's amazing. I mean, I really needed that money right now, but I, I need to keep going and I need to find that ticket. Oh, PBJ! That pretzel is going to stick right to my ass. That's what's going to happen. Mike is not giving up. Under one tray is the one golden ticket. Do you have the golden ticket? I feel it. This is the lucky tray with the golden ticket. Chips. Another can of soda for 100 calories. Laura, you have eaten just over 1,100 calories. Remember, everyone, whether you choose to eat or not is entirely up to you. I'm getting sick. We are halfway through these trays. We still have a golden ticket that is waiting to be found. Alice was like, it's halfway done. I was laying on the treadmill. I was like, are you serious? 
I'm about to throw up. Sione, you have eaten over 2,100 calories. Tara, that's 380 calories for the PB&J sandwich. Kristen, walking around, she hasn't eaten anything in a while. What people are failing to realize, that the person who has the golden ticket, they have the power to vote home someone that's below the yellow line. And how do you make sure you don't fall below the yellow line? You don't eat crap food. So that's what I decided to focus on, and I didn't touch another tray. Well, Ron, you've already eaten 1,236 calories. You're about to add 270 more to that. You know, we've got the biggest temptation we've ever had. Every single person ate. Cupcake! Another cupcake for Tara. You know, Tara, I think she ate more calories than any player ever in the history of Biggest Loser. Tara, you have eaten 3,962 calories. We are down to the wire here. And still, the golden ticket hasn't been found. Tara, do you have the golden ticket? I was wondering, you know, is it really even there? It was just a feeding frenzy. Ah! A cupcake, 520 calories. Another can of soda for 100 calories. We've got 20 trays left. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, no. I got carried away. 15 trays left, and someone is going to find that golden ticket. $70 calories, 366 calories, potato chips, 150 calories, 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 calories. I was pissed. It was what I wanted. I mean, you could see the joy and the excitement that she got jumping up and down. It's a lot of power to give to somebody, and it would have been a lot better in my hands. As long as you can stay above that yellow line, ultimate power in this game goes to you and you alone. Let's see who, who wants to do me some favors this week and give me some back massages and cook for me and clean my room and bring me breakfast in bed. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Like, this golden ticket may be all shiny and nice, and you may be excited, but, like, you have no idea what power can do to people. I mean, it can mess you up. Well, I don't envy you having to tell your trainers how many calories you ate today, but good luck working it off. I will see you guys soon. I can vote off whoever I want to. <laughs> 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 Having ultimate power feels amazing. Everybody is going to kill themselves to stay above that yellow line. They know that if they fall below with Tara, they're out of here. I just wonder how the people or how they're gonna be different to you this week. Let's see. Then you're gonna fall below on purpose. I'm not doing that. Why? Because I'm not gaining weight. I don't want to gain weight. Dude, you have to because whoever falls below with you is going to go home. Well, I know that, but then someone else has to fall below. Can you imagine if we fall below together? Is I'm that... not going to fall below. Well, we have to make sure you don't fall below. I'm not. I'm really hoping that Tara falls below the yellow line this week, so then whoever she falls below with, I'll ultimately have to vote for, because I'm not voting off Tara. Oh my god, this might be too much of a strategy thing. You think it's too much of a sh thing? That... You'd be I, stupid not to. OK, but you need to lose a lot of weight, though. I am. Laura automatically wanted me to fall below the other line. She thought it would be the smartest idea. Then she only has to beat one other person in this house. On one hand, I want to help my partner. But falling below the other line on purpose doesn't sit well with me. This is about losing weight. Get skinny. That's the whole point. It doesn't seem right.